Hey guys, and to celebrate Zoo Batman actually being made with weird storylines that I write because I'm, I write crazy storylines which, which are bizarre, I'm going to share with you my top 10 Arkham game back gadgets. Ta-da! Number 10, the Freeze Blast, which is cool. They did make a remake of it in the... Arkham Origins called Glue Grenade, but Glue Grenades weren't anywhere near as good. So, Freeze Blasts are loads better. Well, they're actually just the same, but in Arkham Origins, they just needed a reason so Batman could get his Freeze Blast back. Fox Daddy had been making that game, I don't think they'd really have relied on the Freeze Blast. But still cool because you can stop air with it and stuff. That, that, that just sounds like it would kill you in a room. Number 9 Batarangs. And why they're not number 10 or not even on this list is because you throw them and the guy falls over and he's being really loud still but it just gives you a bit of time to take out another guy next to him and then take him out so they're helpful in that way they're kind of rubbish in every other way wait what oops <laughs> at number eight a scre a screamer sticks yeah and with these if you've got the game of the year edition of arkham city or if you've just got the Nightwing DLC, you'll know that he fights with these tasers. You can also throw them, and they're called a screamer sticks, and he throws them like batarangs or something. They electrocute people. Number seven, remote control batarang. They're really cool because you can speed them up, slow them down, use them to get rid of trophies. The only reason that they're not further up the list is because they're so hard to control. I very recently found out about breaking them. Not like smashing them, but well, at least you can get an achievement in Arkham Asylum by catching them, but you need an upgrade to even get them. And also, they won't double back on themselves in that game, so it's really hard. Next is Explosive Gel, makes that weird sound effect, Batman draws a bat on the floor which looks more like a smile that Joker would draw on the floor, and Kaboom blows up, ta-da, and Robin draws a question mark but then adds another stick to make it an R or something, I always used to think it looked like a question mark. I always thought that he, that Batman was doing a smile and he was doing a question mark. And I was thinking like, so does Joker do a bat and Riddler does an R? I was so confused, but I found out the answer, kind of. Next is Triple Bat Claw, one of the only gadgets only found in Arkham Asylum because you shoot out three at the time and you can pull down things which can normally only be hit by explosive gel. I remember this really funny scene where I had to block the titan from getting to everyone in the game. And I pulled down this wall and then loads of guys with guns came at me from the wall. There were only three and I just pulled them straight down and they all fell straight unconscious on the floor. And number four, the bullet shield, which Robin has in Arkham City. Supposedly that's pictures from Arkham Origins, but I don't know how because Robin wasn't in Arkham Origins. Anyway, you just put it up and it deflects bullets, but it only lasts for so long. Cool though. Next, the ro remote electrical charge. My friend told me that to beat Mr. Hammer, you needed to shoot him with a remote electrical charge. 
That does nothing except make him spin around in circles with his hammer. He's even more dangerous. Ugh. Ugh. But it's still cool because you can move things up and move things down and pull Mr. Freeze into the wall and stuff. At number two is the shock gloves from Arkham Origins. They're kind of like that electrical gun, you see, except they're gloves. And you get them from the easiest boss ever, because all you need to do is press X once if you're on Xbox. If you're not on Xbox, I don't know what you press. But anyway, you just kick him in the face. Literally, you press X. And then there's a cutscene where you defeat him. He's so easy. But then you don't get the shot gloves straight away because he comes back to Joker and Joker shoots him out of the top of a building. I really should have said spoilers. The Disruptor is my number one because, well, the fully upgraded one because it stops gun shooting. It can stop two gun shooting. And it's in Arkham Origins too, and also in Arkham Knight it can stop three guns shooting. It's really good. Also it can disrupt the mines, makes them blow up, which doesn't sound any better, except they don't blow up in front of you. <sighs> so, uh... I really need to put some of these gadgets in the scripts for Zoo Batman, I think, probably. Well, thanks for watching anyway. I think I'm going to do another top 10 Zoo Batman related soon, like top 10 Arkham cutscenes or top 10 Arkham bosses or top 10 Arkham characters, because Arkham City is my favourite game. It's awesome. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.